It's not every day that your average Joe is afforded the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of their musical idols. But if you consider yourself to be a diehard East Coast rap fan, then I've got some pretty exciting news for you. The childhood home of the notorious B.I.G. aka Biggie Smalls is available for rent at only $4,000 a month. Biggie spent the majority of his life living in this one room shack, but today the entire building has been turned into a gentrified eight unit apartment complex. Yep, gone are the days of no heat as Biggie would say because now this place is as cool a home to live in as any, especially with its historical significance to New York City. So today in our newest house tour, I'm going to take you inside its walls to get a taste of what it felt like to grow up as Biggie Smalls. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Biggie Smalls, the notorious B.I.G. or simply Biggie as he's also known, was a rapper and songwriter who's widely considered one of the goats. Sadly, in 1997, Biggie was murdered in a drive-by shooting in LA, but his legacy lived on to say the least. Not to mention at the time of his passing, it said he'd already amassed an estimated net worth of about $10 million. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one looking at where the late and great Biggie Smalls once called home. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. If you're ever in New York City and you want to set out on a Biggie Small sightseeing tour, don't worry about getting lost because it's practically impossible. Once you wind up in Biggie's old neighborhood of Clinton Hill, simply follow the many wall-sized murals you'll find of the rapper's face, and eventually, well, you'll be standing in front of 226 St. James Place, a local Brooklyn landmark. If Biggie's mother, Violetta Wallace, a Jamaican immigrant, came to Clinton Hill in 2021 searching for a place to live, there's practically no way that she'd be able to afford a home here today. But back in the 70s, this building provided a home base for Violetta and her young son. In fact, it was inside this very building that Christopher George Latour Wallace, aka the Notorious B.I.G., was born and raised for the first 20 years of his life. More than that, it was destined to become young Christopher's proving ground as he made a name for himself in his own neighborhood before setting off to conquer the rest of the country. But before we get into the legacy of Biggie Smalls and Clinton Hill, let's take a look at the home itself. When Biggie lived at 226 James Place, it was considered to be a drug-plagued section of Clinton Hill. Flash forward to today, and besides a few minor historic details from when the late superstar once lived here, the rest of the building is now very much different. The entire complex sold in 2013 for $825,000 to a real estate corporation known as Compass. They quickly got to work renovating the home and turned it into an eight unit rental. While undergoing those improvements, the only pre-war details they decided to keep were the hardwood floors and the high ceilings. That being said, the layout of Biggie's unit hasn't changed at all, and while he might have once referred to this place as a one-room shack in his song Juicy, compared to the rest of New York City's horrendous living standards, this home would qualify as a three-bedroom home. Problem is, only one of the rooms has enough space for anything more than a mattress. Thankfully, if you ever wind up renting this place, furniture isn't something you'll ever have to contend with because this home comes pre-furnished. Let's start with the kitchen. For a residence that's only 972 square feet of space, the kitchen has been designed to allow for ample light and as much of an open concept feel as possible. It's in this room of the house where the original moldings from the time that Biggie lived here still reside, which, you know, is cool if you like moldings. I mean, there's a fan base for everything nowadays, right? The kitchen also features a diamond checkered floor and baby blue backsplash, so if you're a big fan of tile, you'll feel right at home here. Granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and ample amounts of storage space round out this area of the home. According to Biggie's 2003 biography, Unbelievable, The Life, Death, and Afterlife of Notorious B.I.G., the room opposite the kitchen on the far end of the hall was Christopher's. 
So pushing past the kitchen, we can get a first-hand taste of the room where Biggie spent a good portion of his extremely short life. The area of the house features windows that face straight out into the next apartment building, and those of us unused to the cramped living conditions of NYC would probably quickly succumb to a mild case of claustrophobia if we were to spend any considerable amount of time in here. And yet it was here that the magic happened, where Biggie read Word Up magazine, smoked his blunts, and listened to his hip hop records on repeat. This bedroom was his safe haven and he retreated here every day after school to prove his litany of doubters wrong. Beyond Biggie's old room, the home also features a master bedroom and a guest room, but like I mentioned a few moments ago, there isn't much space in either for anything more than a simple bed and box spring situation. Finally, a stone's throw away from the bedrooms is a considerably spacious southeast facing living room that has built in shelving units and an additional office on the far side. Now, in terms of amenities, the building offers laundry on site, bike storage, as well as a common garden with a barbecue area for tenants to take full advantage of. It's also only one block from the subway and within walking distance of a whole ton of shops and restaurants. This is NYC after all. The only downside, sorry, but no pets. And that, my friends, would be a deal breaker for me. But that's just me. Biggie Smalls moved out of this home when he was 20 years old. Records suggest that he moved into an affluent part of northern New Jersey, a suburb known as Teaneck. This is where he purchased a two-story condo. But sadly, Biggie would only get to spend a short amount of time enjoying his new digs because within four years of moving from St. James Place, Biggie was shot to death on the streets of Los Angeles. And while Biggie's life might have ended on that night, his legacy has definitely lived on forever. Look, there's no beating around the bush. A lot has changed since the time that Biggie called this part of NYC home. Clinton Hill City Council member Lori Kumbo said about her neighborhood, during the time that Biggie created masterpieces, this neighborhood was redlined. People didn't want to live here. People moved out of the neighborhood. They had left us to die. And today, that's simply not the case. The neighborhood is now home to hipsters, millennials, finance specialists, and tech people. Basically, the antithesis of what it used to be. And like I mentioned previously, there's almost no chance today that a family as cash-strapped as Biggie's could afford to live here. In fact, according to Zillow, the median home listed in Clinton Hill is now around 770 k That's a far cry away from how things used to be. While the neighborhood may never produce another Biggie, they've still managed to ensure that his legacy will always be tied to Clinton Hill after they renamed the portion of St. James Place where Biggie grew up, Christopher Wallace Way. The gentrification of this area certainly complicates Biggie's legacy with his old neighborhood, but the truth is, most of us never forget where we came from regardless of how time changes things. And now people will never forget the role that Clinton Hill played in shaping the man, the myth, and the legend of Biggie Smalls. So now that we've taken a look at where the late and great Biggie once used to live, what did you guys think? Would you try and rent out his former apartment or want to live there? I think that's any fan's dream come true. As long as you can cover that 4K a month New York City rent, you're good. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on his longtime home down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which legends' homes we should cover next. I'll see you all next time. Bye!